Hello guys, I'm here with Paul and today we're doing the preview for Monaco. So, Monaco, we have both of us have good and bad memories from Monaco. But let's start with the yeah, launcher. Yeah, let's start with the clothes. Let's start with the launcher. You know, so, gotta have some clean clothes. Yeah. Monaco, like you said, some good and bad memories for both of us. Yes. It's actually quite funny. We had very similar fates, but different, different years. years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Completely That's the true. other way around. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So we have done uh, two years in regional together. The first year in regional, I had a good weekend in Monaco. Uh, I finished on the podium. And uh, Dino crashed in free practice. Last year, where Dino won the race, and I crashed in qualifying. We learned also that making mistakes, we learned it in a hard way, <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, we learned it, we in, learned it in a hard way. We have, we have done the full, full uh, experience of Monaco, you know? Yeah. I remember on Sunday when, when I won the race, I made a gap like really early in the beginning. And then I was thinking, you know, five laps to go, like I'll take it a bit more easy. But that's like the worst thing you can do because that's when you will do the mistakes. Yeah or you know start losing a lot of time while before that I was just in the flow putting faster slaps all the time and I was in my safe zone then when I was pushing not when I was like taking it easy yeah I think that's also one of the things in Monaco is is that it's easy to take it too easy uh, and then you don't reach the, the maximum amount of concentra concentration that you need and in the end uh, you end up making the mistakes so it's a track where you definitely need to find a balance between the mental approach you have um, and I think that's why, what makes it so challenging. Maybe the race is not the funniest, but I think it's still the most, almost the most demanding race because you always need to stay focused, like we just discussed. So. Yeah, I think physically the track is not so hard. I mean, it's a slow track. You have tracks like Silverstone where you have much more um, <clears throat> kind of G-force. But in Monaco, you, you have no time to relax. There's almost no straights. You always have to be spot on with the driving i mean you're in between walls so mentally it's really draining and and the races for us this year are longer the the feature race being 45 minutes basically um so it's definitely going to be a step up in the challenge but i think it's it's great that we have experience and uh and we are able to to approach the weekend with um kind of step forward from the others the best drivers in formula one they have won monaco and uh, it's not uh, a coincidence let's say so um, definitely, like you say, it's, it comes with pressure, but uh, it's, uh, it's also in a good way, you know? Yeah. And also, uh, we forgot to mention, there is this thing that if you win a race in Monaco, you're invited to the Prince's dinner. Um, and I think that's also <laughs> super cool. I mean, my friend Dino here has, uh, has been through it, so maybe he can give us a little overview. Yeah, that, that's, I think that's a, that's a good point. Uh, there's a bit of backstory. So after the race, there was you know a lot of you know we need to hurry up. I got like a prize from Ferrari that I would watch the race from the pit lane uh, and so on with the with the team. And then after, I didn't have a suit to go to the to the dinner with the prince. So I got to borrow Giovinazzi's suit. Uh, which was actually fitting quite well because I'm quite tall now, he's quite tall. And um, then the other problem was the transport there because driving there would take like two hours for like, I don't know, seven, eight kilometers. Yeah, because obviously during the race weekend, you know, all the streets are closed, so there's not much room to, to go around. Yeah, full of fans on just walking on the streets and everything. So I got to go with the boat from the pit lane to the to the dinner where we, go, where we were going. And tell me that's not cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was definitely really cool. I feel like we could be speaking about this the whole day. Because <laughs> our laundry just finished and we, yeah. I feel like we haven't covered everything. So let's get it out. And uh, you Thank you. So that was the race preview for um, the prestigious Monagasque track um, and race weekend. See and, you there. Uh, yeah, see you there. Thank you. Thank you.